Welcome to our second Varsity Esports match, Barberton Esports fans. We've got Sunwolf here, which is Ryan McInerney, Asteria, which is Preston Hoover, Sleepless, which is Alec Wietrich Yi, which is Mikey Brown, Pineapple King, which is Hunter Adair, and uh, BHS Brenda, which is Brendan Roberts. Everybody here, let's go ahead and get this started. I'm going to be solo casting today, unable to uh, coordinate with assistant coach Ethan to kind of get some things together here for uh, a quick cast. But we should be fine here. We're going to be opening up with Li Zhang Tower here as our first of our control point maps. See now the team's going to do here. Wondering if they're going to be taking out the uh, taking rolling out through the low ground or the high ground here as they head out to this first night market map. Let's see, we've got the Reaper. Uh, Symmetra pretty favorite here on these maps. Pretty strong hero. Uh, going to be able to put the teleporters out to get some easy, good positioning and uh, point presence. Probably going to, oh, yep, right up to the window, and onto the point goes BHS. Same move, identical move, actually, from the other team here. We can see our opponent bringing out the exact same things. Unfortunately for Barberton, bringing out a little bit more heat here as they quickly uh, dispatch Barberton's team, wisely deciding to jump off here. Asteria knowing, as well as BHS Brendo, hey, it, it's time to reset. That didn't work. Uh, we need to We need to regroup here. It's interesting to see the mirror match here, though, at least as far as... I don't know if it's entirely mirror-matched heroes. Actually, yeah, I believe it is. The only difference is the Cassidy uh, coming out here from uh, the opponent's team. So you can see... NC Hoover, pretty powerful team here. Um, second best team uh, last season in the division that held Shaker, the other part of the Northeast region, as they're duking it out here. Really trying to take some presence here. Get some space. Lamp comes out to fight it out here. With the box down. Team's ready to fight it out here. Ooh, this Sim ult coming out to disrupt Barberton's push here as now the team is split in half with that damage. Not going to be able to go through that wall. Pick against Sleepless, and it's probably time for Barberton to back out here or die as they're not going to be able to fight it out. Now it's a 6v3. Getting pushed back to their own spawn and dying as they flee. Pretty much a full team wipe there against Barberton in that moment. With Barberton on the back foot here, they need to take this next fight and get some uh, point presence here. They got maybe one or two good pushes left in them as we see them pressing forward here. Alec Wiedrich taking space. Moving up, swinging the hammer. Pineapple King going for a flank here. Takes the pressure off the team, uh, enemy team for a second. Oh, we got that grab up. Pushing in, pushing in. Oh, Lucio B comes out from the other side. Counter grab as well. Shields out, lamps down, but are they going to be with, withhold? Yep. Barbin still pushing strong. Yi goes down, but looks like they're getting on to point here. Going to be some turrets tickling in here, though. Is Alec going to be able to stay up? Oh, no, it looks like the healer's almost down. Oh, still up, still up. Barbin, can they come out on top of here? The lamp is down, but Barbin's getting the picks. Beat comes out. Oh, that, that ult from the enemy Rhine, though. Absolutely punishing Barberton as they've got the ults in the tank on the side of uh, NC Hoover here to really punish Barberton. Barberton's unable to get their ults out before the fight's really over here, and it looks like NC Hoover is going to take the first map, uh, sorry, the first round on Li Zhang here. So Barberton got to come back a bit stronger on the second round if they want to make this a Barberton victory on the first map of Li Zhang here. It looked like, you know, both teams came out with a very similar strategy, obviously. Both TPing a point with Symmetra, strong hero, as we said. But unfortunately, Barbara could not close out the fight. I don't know if they just weren't putting enough pressure on as they were going in here. Uh, or if perhaps uh, the, uh, the hero picks were a little off. I don't know. I, I think it was perhaps maybe a lack of uh, knowing how to break in. And maybe a bit of holding the ults a little too long. A little hard to say. This is one of those things where I'd really love to have assistant coach Ethan here for the... Um, extra commentary on that. Perhaps yeah, he could drop a comment in the uh, comment section down below. Barbara rolling out, going straight to point with this Lucio. Taking the low ground and taking presence on point. Allowing NC Hoover to have the high ground here. Ryan Shield's already cracked. Lamp comes out, but a little too late, unfortunately. Sleepless is down. It's going to be a 6v5 here. Back and forth, back and forth. Pineapple King in the air, but we're getting picks here and there. But both DPS down. A support falls, and then Brendan Robo as well. They're just trying to walk it back here. It's okay. It's time to. It's time to let let us reset. Let's reset. 
Nothing wrong with taking a reset, but at the same time, we're going to need to put some presence and push up against this enemy team. Maybe take the, the back way around, but it doesn't look like that's the plan here. We're going to fight into this team here, hopefully getting a pick. Zarya Shield's coming out and really protecting their enemy. Oh, enemy mine was protected, but not against Sunwolf as he brings him down here. Getting good picks. Trading lamps here. Going in, fighting into that uh, box right there. Going to be a hard time. Grab comes out too, looking to deny Barber from this fight. Pineal King getting some kills here. Off the blade. Or no, not the blade. That was the shuriken. I'm sorry. For some reason I thought blade. Uh, that was the blade icon. Well, it looks like, unfortunately, NC Hoover held out again against Barbadon's onslaught here. Using their ults uh, pretty intelligently to block here. We're going to see a Ryan Shower probably coming out from the enemy team here. Our own box coming out. NC Hoover using cover and using walls here uh, to just, you know, let that, let that box sit there. Beat comes out from both teams here. Slam comes down. We're going to see the counter slam. Guess not. Oh, enemy Reaper getting some good value back here. Not just getting the pick, but also zoning Barberton in different places as they panic at that Reaper's ult. Just that global sound in the uh, in the game letting you go, oh gosh, where's the Reaper? Where's he ulting? Is he, am I dead? Uh, but unfortunately, no. Well, not by the Reaper at least. A little chaotic here in these fights. Maybe not really prioritizing targets together. A little bit of frustration probably coming out from the Barberton team right here. Just NC Hoover proving to be much more powerful than they expected. Lamp comes out. Some good picks here, some good picks here. With the box out. Sunwolf getting some huge alt in here to take some presence. Let's get Barberton on this point and get some cap time here. Beautiful. Top it off, move forward, take some presence here and make them fight for that next battle. Right now we got three up. Couple more, not quite there yet. Barber needs to be careful. Looks like they wanted to take up and get some pressure here, but they are not together right now. I, I don't know if the rest of the team didn't get the message on where to hold or what, but it looks like, ooh, there comes the Rhinault. Nice charge and sleep, but unfortunately, Barberton's heroes are getting picked back and forth, back and forth, one by one. And with this, the point's gonna go right back to NC Hoover, and this might be the end of Li Zhang right here. Sunwolf trying to get out, it looked like there. I think there was Sunwolf coming out on the Reaper, but uh, couldn't quite get there in time. It looks like a little bit of a, a discourse or, or disruption, chaos. I don't know what to call it, but it did not look like a focused uh, barber in there as they were going up against NC Hoover. Both teams, very, very strong contenders. We see that they, you know, they both know sort of maybe the hero comps and the strats on Li Zhang, but unfortunately, um, NC Hoover executing a bit, bit stronger there. We're going to hope to see Barbin kind of regrouping and reorganizing, maybe calling out those targets, focusing down a bit more uh, certain heroes, and really, um, you know, bringing in, bring in the magic back for the next round here. Let's see what happens on map two. We're back on to round two here, second map. We've got the uh, offense here coming out from NC Hoover as Barber is getting ready to set up their defense here. Let's see what heroes they bring to the table here. Looks like we're looking at the Sim potentially here and a strong hero on uh, defense. We've got the horse coming out from Alec Wietrich on the Orisa. Brennan Robo going on the Sigma here. Hanzo coming out. Curious what uh, angle of attack they're going to take. We got the car wash getting set up a little bit here. Maybe not the full wash, but at least a light rinse. Looks like there's only two turrets. Here was the third. Not sure where it is. I might have just missed it. Maybe they're stacked. Trading some fire here. Diva eating up a bit of that. Right now, it's just a spray blast. You see healers up in the top corner there. Arrow comes out to scout. With a moth and the... Uh, Echo coming up and around. I think the call it's made about that. However, Barbara not yet turning to deal with that threat. We know the arrow just came out to see that they are there. Barbara's still looking at this pressure in the main point here. But as the moth comes in the back line, picks off Sunwolf. Pressure in the back. Now uh, NC Hoover takes the fight forward here. Couple trades back and forth. Um, Barbara gets a few here, but not quite enough, it looks like, as they're going down here. 
the enemy uh, NC Hoover here. Uh, Sweaty's got probably, I think probably the higher skill, maybe the highest skilled player on their team. We see that in their DPS play. Barbarin has to just let them take this point. They're not going to be able to walk back in through this quickly enough. Now, this is one of the most difficult points to take right here. This choke is so notorious. So, are, is Barbarin going to be able to hold off NC Hoover at, in this choke point here? We see the Moth coming out again. We've really got to uh, deal with this DPS. They got three up. A little bit of pressure here, but look, there's there's a couple of heroes from NC Hoover that really aren't in this fight. So, Barbarin should be able to swing this in their favor here. Mysterious ult comes out, allowing them to put some pressure on. Now, McCree is up on the high ground. That's actually not a McCree. That is an Echo, but they're quickly dealt with, luckily, before the Noon can go off. Looks like they're duking it out with his Echo and Mercy in the back here, as the fight continues in the streets as well. Good picks in the back line. Supercharger comes down. Barbara's got this no problem here. It looks like uh, isolating and taking down in the back line. I know we couldn't get too close there. That, that Moth and that Mercy. Good move by the team to coordinate, identify a target, and take it down while the tanks held in the center stage here. Heels keep coming out. Diva in the window up there, but not sure if they could burst her down out of mech in time, especially with the Mercy attached. We see the power of this choke here. Fire Strike comes out. Dragon out. Not quite down the center of choke here. Uh, maybe mistiming it there, only clipping a few heroes who were not in the choke at the moment. Uh, I don't know if that was a, a, a poor scout on that, or if perhaps uh, maybe a mistimed, misplaced ult. Box out again. Diva bomb down. Oh no, Barbin's shields were just not available for that. A 4k out of that Diva bomb, that's going to generate so much value in cart time for NC Hoover. I, I don't know what happened there. Perhaps the uh, Sigma shield had been on cooldown or had been shattered at the moment. But uh, it's going to be really, really hard for Barbara to handle this. Looks like Yi is up and still alive. Probably run around here and uh, touch the cart, maybe deny a bit of push time. Opting to go around, maybe to get a, a sleep dart out of here. I don't really know. They might. They really need to be up on this cart. Unfortunately, no. Um, without that extra bit of cart time, Barbara unable to reset. Yi almost makes it back in time, but goes down over here. So. Uh, really, really wish we would have seen, you know, obviously we don't want to see players die, but in some cases it's better to die and reset than uh, spend time walking around like that, unfortunately. Uh, just maybe a miscalculation uh, on Barbarin's part there, thinking maybe we can walk this one off and reset, but really just needed to stall card out for a moment as the other team kind of, uh, as Barbarin respawned. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't happen. Or maybe just a full reset. Box comes out from NC Hoover here. Red and Robo eating the, 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 bullets as best as they can. Throwing some shields down. Hammer comes out though. Really punishing Barbarin. Uh, Diva out of the mech. But Sweaty continues to get advantage on this Echo over here. Killing off everyone that's exiting Barbarin's spawn here. We get a dragon coming out but who's it into? Unfortunately no targets clipped by that dragon uh, coming out of McInerney there. And pretty fast point three. Uh, here out of NC Hoover. Barbara's going to really have to put the pressure on here on this offense now. Still shaking off some of the frustrations, some of the uh, the, the maybe shock of, man, we, we thought perhaps we were going to have that first Li Zhang map a lot easier than, than we did. And then, you know, now, you know, they're on the back pedal. Barbara's got to get uh, their feet back under them so they can push in this cart. Uh, and even even if they can't get it faster than NC Hoover, they can at least force it to that uh, next you know third round. Uh, otherwise, this second might close out before Barberton can uh, get the momentum back on their side, swing the pendulum back to B Town. That'd be a big issue for them as it's very very hard to come back from being down two maps. I mean, then you have to win the next three sets in a row. Barberton's done it before, but can they do it today? Is the question for all of our uh, esports fans watching right now. What heroes are we going to be seeing out of Barberton here? Looks like we've got the Reaper, the Genji, Ana, we've got Brigida, and looks like a monkey out of sleep. So perhaps some sort of pseudo dive comp. Doesn't look like a traditional just push down the mid chuck. We'd see a Rhine or something else, probably more traditional along those lines. Brendan does not have their pick yet. Looks like they're planning on bubbling this monkey then. 
Make sure the monkey survives the dive. All right, Barbarian comes out. Quickly approaching this choke. Throwing a bit of heat. Reaper coming out, Reaper wraithing away. Reaper no wraith on the enemy team. Sweaty gets the pick against Barbarians here. Asteria's down. Reaper's gonna drop. Robo trying to get away, but gets clipped before he can get into the safety of that shield. The monkey dropped, but that shield was getting low anyway. Just looks like Asteria keeping up, uh, and Mikey as well, keeping up our Genji here. Barbarian decides to reset, wait for their tanks. Trying to get out of here, but Barbara's already kind of low. Even just leaving the spawn here, they really need topped off. Decide where you're going out right now. Looks like they're trying to make a strategy on the fly as they're coming out here. Maybe trying to adjust the pressure coming out. But look how low these health bars are as they're walking into this fight. This may not be the fight for them to take. Diva Bomb coming out. Clipping uh, one of our heroes here. That Diva Bomb coming up from the enemy, Echo. Duking it out in the movie theater while... Uh, looks like Robo's out here, pressing up, but there's nobody here to back them up, so I don't know if they're just looking to get a quick death, try to build some alt charge or something, but right now, Barbarin is staggering themselves as they're coming out here. I think it's just, you know, a, a bit of a, that, that sort of panic of what do we do, what do we do, what we're doing is not working. You need to take a second and reset. Take a second. Come back out. Now we got full health bars walking into this fight. A little bit of hero swap, so it looks like uh, Kree coming out now. But they have to watch this Echo in the back line. Held at the choke. And going down, it looks like. Genji Blade comes out with the uh, Nano here. But is it enough to make it? Oh, yeah, it looks like Barbadin got the pressure off that. They got some really big picks. And it looks like they're going to be able to take this point. Coordinating some ultimates together. Looks like it might pay off here. Barbarians respawn much faster. Can they take this point, though? Got to get these heroes off. And see Hoover set back up. Oh, no, the shatters blocks. And then counter shatter. Gambit out here on the enemy team. Popping off with the ult. Destroying Barbarin. Forced them back to spawn. It looked like it was Barbarin's point to take there. They did get one tick out of it, but they need a lot more than that. They've got probably, I'd say, maybe Five pushes left, potentially. Let's see how they do on this one. They have to watch that Moth Mercy. They need to adjust, be ready to fight against that. Whenever it drops in the back line, they need to pivot on that. Sleepless going in here. Looks like half the team calls out the, the Reaper in the back line. Alec Wietrich taking position here, but team has not followed through with him. Uh, I think he expected all the team to be there, and some of the team went in, and some of the team... Responded to the Reaper. It looks like they were stuck between two calls. Maybe a, a bit of discord once again. Uh, too many shot callers, perhaps not no, not enough, uh, you know, too many cooks in the kitchen kind of thing here. As Barbadin splitting themselves and taking a, a lost fight there. If they had gone all on the Reaper and then set up for a uh, 6v5, or had all just gone pressed in and gone with their Rhine there, perhaps they could have generated some more value. This time, looks like that Reaper's getting deleted. Everybody correctly... Uh, went together. When, oh, when you play together, you are strong. Fortunately, we're a little too together underneath this grav here. Uh, that's more on the part of the opponents than us. Uh, but yeah, when, when ultimates come out, a little bit hard. But take a look here. Barberton, one thing we want to look at here, as unfortunately looks like we're going to be going to a third map here. Still no wins from B-Town, but let's roll this back a few seconds take a look at something. If we take a look at this fight here, as Barbarin's setting up for this last fight that they just lost, um, look at the ult charge here. You know, obviously, Squirrel's going to come out on the enemy team with that grab, but look at Barbarin's ults. They've got a nano they could chuck right now. They've got Kree's ult. They need to use some ults to initiate on these fights. Still, a grab is yet to come out. Comes out now, unfortunately, unable to eat it, but I mean... Look at this. We've, we've got some ult charge. Um, perhaps it would have been better to use one of those ults that had just come off cooldown to press in there. Um, I, I know it would have been maybe a, a kind of a last second ult that maybe the team wasn't planning on, but if, if you look at your ult charges on your team, your ult economy, you should know uh, you want to be using ults more often 
rather than less as we approach these higher levels of play because your alt charges come back so quickly and alts are so much more valuable in generating space and uh, wins in a fight. So let's see if Barberton can swing it back the other way. They're going to have a really hard time with this, but it's not impossible, and we want to see what they can do. they got to get their heads in the game, though. They need to start making some calls, prioritizing some targets. We saw a little bit of that in here, but the team is still not unified in this moment. Uh, so we need to see if they can come back in the next map, which we will see here in a moment. All right, Barberton fans, this is where it all comes down. Will Barberton be able to uh, defend well enough and then attack well enough on Dorado to push it to a fourth map and then from there to a fifth? And we got to win this one if we want to defend against NC Hoover and have any chance of coming back in this match between NC Hoover High School, that's North Cent I believe North Central Hoover High School, and Barberton High School. Looks like we've got some uh, nice defensive positioning up here. Nothing too uh, out of the ordinary on this map, I wouldn't think. Um, we've got the Echo here, the, the Moth supporting. Hysteria not normally on uh, the Mercy. Usually someone we see out of Brian's damage. Uh, but these are the here. These are the players we got in this match. I haven't seen any subs for Barberton. Uh, maybe want to shake it up a bit, but perhaps they're a little afraid of bringing in some fresh blood right away. Brandon Robo really, really low. Mercy grabbing them though, as they get the pick against the enemy squirrel. Sweaty up in the back line. They know this echoes back here, but they're able to take them down. Ryan McKinney coming down. Rez up on Yi. Looks like they got some really big value out of there. Barberton dropping to fight it out and push back NC Hoover. NC Hoover wisely retreating, not wanting to stagger themselves. Now they're not fully retreating back to spawn, but they're using these corners and edges to keep Barberton from putting any pressure on them that's too scary. Looks like the Echo is able to put a bit of pressure over the top, but not too much. Oh, Rock comes out against Robo here. It's down to 5v6 now. Can Barberton hold? The Moths are in the air here. Defeating our own Moth, that means that NC Hoover looking strong here as the cart rolls up the point. Barberton not dropping perhaps early enough on that. Trying to fight it out here, but they are split between their heroes. It looks like unless Barberton can roll out pretty quickly, they're probably not gonna be able to get back out here in time. If I were them, I would back it off at this point. Reset, not further stagger themselves. Hog almost going down there. Can they eliminate this Moth and Echo in the back though? Not before Asteria gets claimed. Hook and kill on Sleepless there. Barberton is just falling one by one like dominoes here. We were hoping to see them come back here, but unfortunately, not looking like a strong showing here as Barberton's picked off one by one by one. Look at the alt economy though. What both teams have lots of ults in the tank. I'd like to see some ults out of Barberton here soon. Playing up really far from NC Hoover. I'd love to see Barberton punish this, but I don't know if they're all together yet or not. We're gonna look at kind of Hoover's positioning here. Barberton coming out, they've got the defensive position now. Hoover just has one on cart, because that's all they need. They keep the other five up here to fight as they're generating that value out of that one here on the background. Big pickup. And a big drop down, but unfortunately Lamp comes out to protect the enemy heroes. Sunwolf and Pineapple King. Pineapple King getting the Lamp. Sunwolf getting the pick. Barberin coming back strong here. Perhaps NC Hoover moved up a little further than they really should have. But maybe I spoke too soon as Sweaty and Squirrel getting some playbacks. We've got the Echo turned into Kree, but no High Noon comes out of them. Perhaps, which is better for Barberton here. Asteria goes down again, unfortunately, on the Mercy. Where are these ultimates out of Barberton? We really have not seen very many. Second point. Almost five minutes on the clock for Hoover here. That's a long time to defend, but Barberton's done it before. Will they do it this time, though? Pineapple King going into the Hog, looking for some kills. Gets a hook out. Trying to build some ultimate. Going back to Echo form though. Isolated and uh, broken down pretty quickly. The rest of the team in a bit more of a defensive position. Perhaps should have moved up with him or perhaps he was up too far. We don't have time to analyze that play right at this moment. 
Enemy soldier getting huge value, picking off a lot of Barbadans heroes here. I don't know how they're going to stop this one. He doing his best, staying hidden around the corner, but he's now picked off as he tries to come back with the rest of the team. Brennan, oh, Cree, shooting out as best as he can, but can't stop them. Not alone, at least. More of a desperation alt more than anything else. He swaps over to Lucio to get out to point quickly. Hunter's Genji coming out as quickly as he can. Ball out from Alec Wietrich to just kind of spin to win or spin to not lose in this case, hopefully. Fighting it off, fighting it off, really doing a great job here. Barbin splitting up uh, Hoover, but Hoover's starting to stick together again. Yi buying time on the card as best he can, trading out with Wietrich now as he goes on. Final King trying to get some picks here on uh, support if possible. Sweaty and Gambit putting the pressure on Brendan Robo gets the pick on Gambit. Hunter Dare goes down. Can we get some time on this card? Oh, it's so close. Our Hog goes down, Pineapple King down. Sunwolf down as well. Barman just throwing anyone they can here. Alec Wieter coming in last second. Only a few meters left of this cart. Can they hold it off here? This is so, so close. They have to be very careful not to see nine. Mines come out. Peppering and dropping the HP of Hoover all over the place. We can see the spin comes on Barman. They've got that respawn advantage. And it is paying off as Barman starts to come out with the cleanup. Sleepless finally goes down here, but not before Hoover is wiped up at the very last second, just before the very worst could happen. Can Barbara continue to hold here? I certainly hope so. Um, that was very, very touch and go there. Some great plays by all the heroes there, all the players, coming out and getting those seconds on that point to keep that cart from moving. We saw Yi getting out there, Sun Wolf. Uh, we saw uh, Alec Wietrich spinning a win on the ball. Pineapple King as well. That may have given NC Hoover some pause. Will they panic? Oh, they're, they're, Sigma's panicking because he's about to die. He's up way too far. Lamp comes out, two ultis. No, not ultis, just one ulti out. Two ultis out from Barberton though. Genji Blade out too. They used a lot of ults to clean up that fight. We might have had one more ult than we probably really needed in that moment, but Barberton is defending here. They need to be careful because NC Hoover, three in the tank. We're going to have probably the mines and maybe the rally up here. Brendan Robo coming back. A little bit of trading fire back and forth here. See who can get the hook off. Their hog or ours. Brendan Robo playing fast and. Oh! Mines come out in the back line, trying to get some picks here, maybe some zoning. Splits the enemy team a bit, but uh, where's Barbara? Are they following up with this? Might have been a bit of a, a crazy uh, ult to try to put in such a wide open space so they could walk it out there. Ults coming out from the enemy team, and these ults are really putting pressure on Barberton. Uh They're losing a lot of that space that they just had after uh, Alec Wietrich getting picked there, and then that soldier getting up unchallenged to this high ground ult. Can they replicate the success they had before? Still a lot alive on Barbara and getting some good picks. Enemy Echo is down without the sweaty. Can Hoover really stand? That's the question. Looks like they're starting to collapse again. Panicking under the pressure from Barbara. Alec Wietrich in the back line as everybody else dukes it out around the cart here. Genji trying to pop off and take out this enemy soldier. But with this healer just attached, Mercy on them. Alec Wietrich going for this Mercy, trying to finish her off, keep her from keeping the team up. Oh, now the picks start coming out from Barberton. Two supports and one tank left. The box comes out, but who cares? It doesn't matter because there's not enough heroes to really get any any support out of that. Barberton makes the defend. It looks really, really dicey there for a moment. Looks like it was going to start swinging back in the favor of NC Hoover. But Barberton, amazing. They were able to hold and take care, take a, a, a f almost five-minute um, hold on that third point. Uh, Barbara has a history of uh, just really digging in deep on Dorado on this third point. They feel very, very strong at this spot. I feel at least if they don't feel that way, maybe they should because they've always had a great showing on that third point. Question is, can they have a strong showing on the first and second point? 
and then close to the third as they want to force this to map four and map five. Really, really hard to say here as we're getting ready for the next round. We've got a very long way to go, and NC Hoover is not a pushover opponent. They are one of the top teams in this region, and we can see that in the way that they play here. Maybe Barberton's got a little in their head after this last map, though, or rather the last round. Maybe it's time to work that magic. We'll have to wait and see here, folks. But I'm hoping we see something special here on this offense. So I didn't gambit taking hit scan heroes on the enemy team. Looking to kind of, uh, perhaps, perhaps they're shooting to give some positioning here for where they want some of their uh, allies to set up. Otherwise, just enjoying the fun of uh, tracer rounds, I suppose, out of soldier's weapon there. Barbara's got the monkey and the ball. Looks like they're going to try to dive into whatever um, heroes are up from NC Hoover. Yep. Looks like they're doing a little bit of pepper and some damage out here. The monkey jumps up. Ball's coming up and behind. It looks like they're going to roll through. Knocks them down with them on the low ground here. Oh, the tank's going in. Everybody crushing in from Barberton. Getting a huge purple out from our Ana, from Mikey as well. Helping close the deal here as Barberton looks like they're just wiping out NC Hoover. Really, really strong coordinated attack. They were not watching for Alec Wietrich to come up in the back line, and Barberton reacted perfectly, coming over as a team to eliminate these heroes. If I were them, I would have maybe even stagger this Ana a little bit, but that's all right. I think even without staggering them, they are going to be able to get some great card time. I would keep three on here if they can, just to pressure it up. Tanks up forward, trying to disrupt here, keep the enemy team from getting in and stopping this push. They want to get a fast first point here on Barberton, and it looks like they're going to be able to do that. Oh, maybe not. Looks like NC Hoover on the point now. Two picks against Barberton. That's the danger of pushing up like that. If they could have held, that might have been a fast point, but now they're going to have to reset and come back in because it looks like it is time to die and get back in together. Really looked like they were going to close that point and put it like a couple minutes on the clock there. But um, unfortunately, NC Hoover pushed through just fast enough to realize, hey, even if we die on the cart, we need to stop that cart for a second so the rest of the team can get here. Well played, Hoover. Well played. We're about to see Barberton coming up here again. Ball in the back, looking to go for another flank. The monkey ult comes out with the slaps, with the sleep. Oh, and it's nap time for monkey. Curious George has had a little bit too much play time. And unfortunately, it is now... Oh, the monkey comes out. That ult. Oh, Barberton having to back up a bit here. Unfortunate, unfortunate. Question here, though, is how will Barberton push in on this next fight? I had thought that uh, the, the ult had been interrupted there, but it looks like there was still a bit of time left on it uh, from the sleep. Sleep doesn't cancel monkey's ult correctly, uh, or fully, I can't recall off the top of my head. A little bit of a deflect there, a little bit of a nap, but that's all right. Ooh, purple comes out. They might want to back up, but with this rally coming out right as the purple hit, they might not have much of a choice. They want to make use of this Alec Weatrix. Ult comes down. But he gives up his life for this. Can they make the play? They need to play around this box. Big purple coming out against the enemy, but unfortunately, I don't think they can close this out. They've got too many picks against them at the moment. Um, just a bit of a bad timing with a, a big purple coming out right as the push came in, making it hard for Barberton to close the distance and help out Alcuitrix's mine on point here. Seemed like the right move may have just been good counterplay from the enemy Ana. Sunwolf has his ult here, so if he can get a good flanking position or perhaps even just apply some pressure on those angles that the uh, enemy team can't defend against while his team puts pressure elsewhere, I think that we could see something uh, something good for this next point. But it's very, very important that they close it. they got maybe one push after this if they can't get it on this point. And the clock is ticking here. They've got to get there. Brandon Robo getting low. Gets the rebreather off. Get a pick. Uh, pick for pick on tank here. We lose Sleepless. Pineapple King gets a pick on this support though. Huge lamp goes down. Looks like, oh, they are falling left and right. Sweaty's the last one here, but we don't care if he's sweaty uh, because we're rolling on to this point. Very nice, Barberton. Super excited we got that point. Put some time back on that clock so we can get on to the third point. If we can get three points out of this, it doesn't matter. I mean, honestly, we don't even need the whole three points. Wow, Alec Wietrich up really, really far. With the Creed, be, I'm a little afraid that if they get... Oh, the sleep comes out. They're, they should have left him sleep for a while, but 
repairs that they uh, woke him without any plan to kill here. I was really for, if, afraid there was going to be a sleep or a flash on him because uh, the Ana and the Korea on this team really seem like they can hit their stuff. Purple comes out here. Fighting in the side room here. As we've got one push in the cart, similar to what happened in the last map. Big picks from Pineapple King and Sunwolf here. Looks like they're cleaning up all the while. Ana riding the cart. It might it might not be the most glorious uh, fight all the time. All comes out from Brendan Robo. Don't know if it was needed there against only the uh, Reinhardt, but I'd rather see Barbarian using some ults than holding them in the tank forever as they've been a little conservative with them uh, this match. But as I was saying, nothing wrong with riding the cart because riding the cart is how you get to the point, which is what Barbara needs to do right now. Hog comes out to try to stall for a second, but they're a little late. Can Barbara punish this Hog? Fortunately, no. He walks back out. Maybe not too coordinated there. Is there here on the back line pressuring them? Uh, somewhat. It looks like Pineapple King went up to take care of Sweaty. Sunwolf finishing off Gambit there. Getting some value. Pushing up. Trying to get a hook out, but the Rhine Shield blocks the hook, unfortunately. Aquitrix slamming down. Putting the mines out to apply some pressure. But is Barbara going to round that corner fast enough to be able to do anything? Yi probably throwing some grenades over the top. But wow, Barbara really duking it out here. Getting some huge picks. So much value. We need to get a couple heroes back on this cart, though. Speed it up getting around this corner here while the enemy hero is respawning. I think we can get a lot more distance here. We, we could be sitting right here right now because uh, we know how long it takes for a hero to respawn. I know Barbara wants to take those offensive positions, though. So uh, Rally coming out here, making sure to be ready for this next fight. Tries to go in for the stun. Misses it there. Duking it out, brawling it out. Sunwolf. Split from the team here, but usually in a pretty good position here. Unfortunately, it's high noon. Uh, honestly, that was not a bad position to force as the team brawls out on point the uh, damage coming out from the soldier, but unfortunately uh, for them, the uh, Cree on the other team, or rather the Cassidy on the other team, uh, had their number and said, hey, who's that over there? Let's give them a, a little check on what time of day it is. Daylight savings time is coming up. Really nice push. I thought Barbara might be able to make it there, and perhaps if they had pulled a few bit heroes back to get a bit speedier push on that cart, they might have been able to get there in time. A little hard to say. I think it might have still been a little short, so nothing wrong. Uh, nothing too wrong with that. Oh, Sleepless almost goes down. He does go down in the end, but they trade tank for a uh, DPS here. Hook coming out. Nice big hook against the enemy support here. All coming out from the hog, trying to push these heroes back into the killing room, but Pineapple King, oh no, he's not the one we wanted to kill. Stereo goes down as well, Squirrel's down, but hey, look who's on the point, it's Barberton. High Noon comes out, but can we do anything about it? Oh, we force them off of it. Barberton duking it out once again on the point. Purple comes out though. Oh, with that Bob on point, that's just gonna mow through Barberton's heroes. They're gonna have to reset for another push here. 50 seconds, can they get it? It's so very close. They probably got maybe one more good push in them. Maybe a desperation push with a couple of heroes trickling up. You know, those speedy heroes that can get there. They don't need to force the issue right... Oh, excuse me. Force the issue right now, but it's it's getting it's getting dire. Taking the high ground. NC Hoover knows they're going to be here. Dynamite comes out trying to tickle Barber in a little bit as they're coming up this point. Sunwolf going down, looking to see who's on point here. Maybe go for a flank. Unfortunately, can't quite do it. Ball coming up. Fights, the trade back and forth. NC Hoover split here, so with Barberton up here, Big Purple comes out. Fight begins within Barberton's favor here. Big picks, big picks coming out. Oh, I'm sorry, the Purple was from the other team. That was from Barberton. We don't have the honor right now, though. But we don't need the honor right now, because it looks like Yi and Asteria on our sports making big plays. Rest of the team. Oh, yes, this cart, this cart knows where it belongs. Right on point number three. That's right. Barberton has clinched it in the last moment. Sorry about the uh, missed call on the Ana there. I was really thinking of purple was coming off from our team, but uh, it was actually us that was purple, but we're still going to fight through it. So, hey, congratulations, Barberton. Let's see if we can finish up on map four. Looking a lot more coordinated at the end of uh, this this round here. I think they finally shook off that, that, that monkey on their back, uh, or whatever it was. It was holding them back for the first round and then kind of lingered on the second. I think that they really came back to to make some plays here, um, rallying around that third point defense as they have many times before on Dorado. So let's go on to our next map and see can Barberton continue uh, this momentum moving forward into a fourth and then a fifth map. Let's see what happens.
Barberton High School, Map 4 versus NC Hoover. Also on Map 4, Volskaya Industries. A strange choice in some ways. Uh, Volskaya Industries is known to be a rather difficult map, uh, perhaps one that is maybe not as well designed as some of the other maps in the Overwatch uh, map pool that we have to work with, but it was the loser's choice. And in this case, for the first time in these three maps, the loser was not Barberton, but instead NC Hoover. Now it's going to be up to Barberton here on blue to defend this first point and then the second from NC Hoover as this sort of assault map begins. I believe that's the name of these two CP maps is the assault. Let's see what we've got. Still uh, keeping the same player roster, but the heroes have swapped around. Oh, Pineapple King, the home is going down there. Uh, can't play quite so far up against a team like this sometimes uh, without having somebody to pocket you on this far up. So without a, ooh, without a mercy, gonna be a little bit harder to support that far. We got Yi though, so perhaps we can make that work. Unfortunately, man, a lot of pressure coming out really, really quick. It's like they just walked right over, pick after pick after pick, taking that momentum away from Barber from the last map, and they are s s celebrating, it looks like, here by NC Hoover. Uh, keeping a few on and a couple coming forward. I don't think that Barber's gonna be able to get to that point. They're just saying, look, 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 it's really, really hard to get back out for Bull Sky on this. Let's just defend this objective B. But this is going to be a six-minute defense. Wow, that's that's going to be a very, very tall order to fill. And see Hoover taking the high ground, trading shots with Barbara here. Sweaty picks Yi, unfortunately. We've seen the power of that player. It's really, really tough. Picks out both supports from Barbara. This is going to be an incredibly difficult fight here for them. Wow, and they are just getting folded here. Folded in half like a sheet of origami. Though that's more of a Hanamura thing than a uh, Volskai thing, unfortunately. Is this going to be an incredibly quick point? Oh my goodness, this is not looking good for Barberton here. I'm sorry to say it, Barberton Esports fans, but that is a lot of time on that clock. Um, huge picks coming out from NC Hoover there. Um, on the second point against both supports, making it almost impossible for Barberton to hold there. Maybe they can put out another lightning offense, force it to a, uh, a third round on this map, and then kind of get back some of that time that they just lost. But it's, it's going to be a very, very tough push to, to equal out what NC Hoover was able to do there. It looks like it all kind of started to fall apart for Barberton on the first point. You know, we saw... Uh, the picks against Hunter Adair, and then one after another after another, again and again, uh, Barberton players falling there. I'm not sure if maybe the supports were just mismatched mismatch with the heroes uh, on DPS. I don't know if it was that the DPS were taking uh, spots that were not very advantageous. Maybe it was just the line of attack that Hoover put out there, but um, man, very, very frustrating and disappointing to see uh, Barberton struggling so much uh, after such an amazing map three map four just uh the cold of volskaya is uh is, is really putting a chill on this game let's see if barbany can put out a nice strong offensive we got sunwolf on the junk rat here it'll put a lot of damage out hopefully but breaking up some barriers that we might see here fire strike comes out so but looks like the reflect and the absorption here kind of mitigating any uh damage that might do out we are going for a deep flank here Team goes in, Sunwolf gets a quick pick. Pressure coming out. Ball goes for the drop, gets interrupted or maybe cancels there. Doesn't matter though, Barberton's replicating the success a little bit of NC Hoover. Not quite getting as many picks as quickly and isolating as many targets as Hoover did, but definitely taking presence on the point here. Getting quick picks and wow, I'm I'm seeing some good plays out of Barberton here. Would like to see a bit more um, perhaps focus on some of the supports. I think there was a Mercy up here that uh, didn't get clipped quick enough. But at the same time, they are absolutely making time and taking this point. Are we going to have five minutes on the clock as well here from Barberton? I think just barely. Well, six minutes. I'm sorry. Six minutes on the clock. Can they cap this fast enough though? They really need to replicate the success of Hoover. Um, so far, they, they're pretty close. They, they've done something very similar to what Hoover did here. But are they going to be able to clip, uh, get some supports 
Oh, Sweaty coming around the backside here. You don't really expect someone to come and get you from this corner here. So now, with that, it's a 5v6 starting out this fight. Barber might want to back off and just kind of re-engage when the whole team's here. Or if they can get a quick pick here. Oh, no, they do not. Instead, they lose Alec Wietrich, and they... Siri gets Sweaty, but Pineapple King's down. Sweaty's back up after this res from the Mercy. Knowing that they have such a strong player, probably part of the reasons that uh, NC Hoover uses the Mercy is to res those value players that they have. They've got a couple of really, really high-skilled players here. Barberman wisely backing off now, realizing, hey, you know, we, we tried to get out there quick, but it, it, we're going to have to go to round three. We're not going to be able to uh, cap faster than them. Ball is up. Junkrat in the flank. Deep. Fire in the hole comes out, but I think NC Hoover will be able to pick this. Uh, it gets the uh, lamp, but nothing else, unfortunately. Our own lamp coming down here. Oh, box coming out from both teams. Pineapple King goes down again. Playing against an upper-level team, we expect uh, heroes to kind of go for four defenses like that to get picked a lot, but uh, a lot of deaths for Pineapple King today, unfortunately. Barberman backing up again, realizing this is not their fight to win. I don't know if it was that the ult didn't quite come off from McInerney uh, as quickly as they wanted or maybe where they wanted. Perhaps the, the move would have been to ride the cart uh, back around this way and go up against these heroes on that high ground back there rather than bringing the uh, uh, ult straight to the point there where the lamp was sitting at the ready. Two lifts here? Uh, only one lift, it looks like. Alec dropping the bombs out here. Not really in a place that's going to get too much. Uh, I was hoping uh, maybe drop it a bit further or closer on the point. But some picks coming up from Barberton here. Ult's coming out from the Hog, but that means he uh, doesn't have his rebreather. So if they can get some pressure on him, might be able to take him down before the fight goes too crazy. Yi goes down. Brendan Robo goes down. Pineapple King down. With this once again, another stalled out push by Barberton. Defeated again by Hoover. I don't know. It's just a real struggle here to break through. We need to get some strong picks at the start of this fight to get the value that we need. But we've got an ult in the tank now on Hunter Dare. He's generated a lot of value out of Blades before. Uh, really has some superb Genji play, but is it going to be enough here? Sunwolf goes down from the Echo, who once again is in the back here. There's a whole fight going on behind the point. Now two picks out, Healer and Sweaty. It might be worth taking a 5v4 here. Harbin pushing in. Lamp goes down in a place that really doesn't matter. Yi gets picked, unfortunately, a little too far up, or maybe the team not up with them. Pineapple King gets a pick back. We're trading heroes left and right. Sweaty back on the scene. Putting the hurt in on Barbin's back line. This is such a wide fight, it's hard to keep a, an angle on it. But if you take a look at the kill feed in the top corner, you can see Barbin unable to get the win in this fight again. Asteria wisely jumping off the edge and not feeding any alt charge to the enemy, Moth. Moth still in the back line though. This Mercy and Moth are gonna drop down as they see people coming out of spawn. Are they gonna be able to challenge it? With these heroes, hard to say. Can they pick either of these guys? They really need to just eliminate them. They're up so very far. Looks like they might pick the Mercy here. Oh, but she walks it off again. Oh, not this time. Hunter Adair finishing off the Mercy. Finishing off Sweaty. They need to push quick. Build some more time back on this clock. Alt coming out from Hunter Adair. Barberton is pushing in now. Finishing. Oh, nice rock out to ruin up that Hog's alt. Cancel it. Mercy alt, but goes down right away on the enemy team. This looks like it's Barberton's fight finally. They took some good picks capitalizing on the overconfidence and perhaps the, the uh, uh, positioning of Sweaty. But, oh, it looks like Hoover's not making it easy on them. Yi brings the beat down. Everybody's fighting it out here. Almost finished off. We can see that they are getting ready to defend this last point. Tracer giving them a bit of trouble here. Moira Orb comes out. I think Barberton can take this, though. They are making him work for every second and every tick here. Taking time away from Barberton. Hoover really making them struggle. Without a lot of heroes to disable, Hoover, Barberton just has to try their best to deal with these heroes that they walk on and just sort of kite around and around and around the Barberton magics. 
Let's get this finished, guys. We gotta get this point. Take down this Lucio, call the target, and get him out of here. Same thing with this Moira, just eliminate her. We, yes, there we go. We're forcing it to a third round. However, this is gonna be a tall order for Barbadan. Look at the difference in those clocks. Vincy Hoover can get the push here. Well, then we know what's gonna happen. It's up to Barberton to have a strong, very, very strong, we'll say, uh, round here. What will the future hold here? Barberton has one minute to get to this point and take the W. Well, that's not entirely true, I suppose. They have a minute, and then we're going to go to overtime as they attempt to get this second point as well. A lot can happen in a minute, but a lot more can happen in 5 minutes and 48 seconds. So NC Hoover really putting the, the putting Barber into the pressure. Will they be able to defend? Well, in this case, attack. Let's worry about them getting through on this attack first before we even consider the defense on Volskaya. Let's see what comes out. Pineapple King and Brennan Robo ready to eat that fire strike. I think probably only one should use their skill next time so we don't have both on cooldown. That's a minor thing right here. Let's see how Barbarin comes out of this. Ooh, this line is so low, but he walks into the lamp that's been pre-laid for his benefit, but oh, looks like our own lamp goes down. Barbarin getting some really, really nice moves here. Keeping our Rhine up, but oh, Yi goes down, Sleepless goes down here. Hunter Dare gets a pick. We're trading heroes back and forth, but the trades seem to be in the favor of NC Hoover right now. Yeah, unfortunately, just couldn't take care of it. Looks like we were a little spread again. We look at these fights, and we see Barberton uh, coming in really strong. Really high mechanical skill from lots of the players, but not enough uh, shot calling here to really isolate the targets. Right now, they don't have time to do anything but touch this point. They're in desperation mode. Can they fight it out? It's going to be incredibly difficult. They might see nine here. No one on the point. Can someone get there? Ah, oh, the Moira on. She's on there quickly, but I don't see any other heroes coming up to touch this. Unfortunately, after such a strong comeback on round three, and a really, really strong first point for Barberton on the uh, first part of... Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. We got a swap. <laughs> I called it a little too early here. I forgot. We've got the defense now. So, perhaps I spoke too soon. But I will continue with my thought about split teams. We will see here, though, that Barberton, unfortunately, you can see that in that last fight, we had a lot of really strong mechanics coming out here. A lot, a lot of good, you know, brawling, fighting out, but. We have a fight going on over here. We have a fight going on over here. We have one over here. Now, some of that comes down to, you know, just when a hero when a hero starts the fight, where they might initiate the battle. But the rest of the team really needs to come together and say, let's just kill this guy, whether I die in the process or not. Rather than having a, a couple of heroes that are all at half health, we can have a couple of heroes who are dead. We might lose one of ours, but if we're trading one for one, we can still come up on top in that exchange, as opposed to, you know, maybe we'll win these 1v1s we're taking here and there. Um, but... It, that's a little bit of what I'm seeing, at least. Curious to see the other coaches' viewpoints on some of the uh, the positives and negatives of this match. Barbin has a big hold to have here. I, I hope they make me eat my words and can bring us a W here. I called it a little too early. That's my fault. I, I, uh, I I've forgotten how uh, the assault map works when we trade in uh, for overtime here. Some spam coming out into the defense matrix here from the diva. Sleeping monkey. We'll let him lie. Joe can deny a lot of space here. So really happy to see that hero on defense on this map. Enemy Genji comes in. That's the sweat, man. Barbin giving up some space here. Falling back to point. Reaper in the back line. Nade comes out on Yi. Keep himself alive. Steria gets picked, though. That Nade is not, not available for this fight now. 
Oh no, with these picks against Barbadan, I believe my my earlier uh, call is about to come true, I think. Esports fans, I am sorry to say, but this is indeed a Barbadan loss here. NC Hoover takes the win. Uh, what can I say? The, the better team got it in this moment. Um, I think Barbadan and this team are quite evenly matched. It could go either way. It really depends on who comes out with the getter, better uh, game plan and can then execute on targets. Um, it felt like, you know, NC Hoover had a very, very strong DPS player that Barbara needed to adjust to and make sure to whether they're eliminating that DPS player or the pocketed mercy that they had for many, many of their plays. Um, they needed to make those calls and I think maybe it's, uh, as I said before, maybe too many cooks in the kitchen. They need to get a main shot caller in there uh, really saying, this is what we're doing. Because right now it feels like a lot of players have good ideas. You know, I, I, as the head coach, I've been at lots of these practices. I've been at all the practices. Uh, and I've been in, in these matches, in these games. And I can say that the players have great ideas on things to do, uh, many different avenues of attack. But a lot of time, uh, picking what idea is the one that everyone is going to take a part in. Uh, sometimes just doesn't happen, and then everyone's off on their own, their own path. So, you know, a tough loss. Um, hopefully, Barbara can come back with some wins. They're one and one for the season right now. Uh, they're hoping to make it to playoffs again. But at this point, unless NC Hoover has some stumbles along the way and Barbadan uh, wins its next couple matches, that means that uh, Barbara is going to have, uh, if they can make it to playoffs, they would at best be in the second seat position, second seed, which means that they will face the best team from the other side of the bracket which we all know is likely to be Shaker Heights, the team that knocked Barberton out of the playoffs last season. So will Barberton be able to take that rematch? Will they even be able to make it to the playoffs? Time will tell. I think they've got the skill to do it. It's just can they execute? That's what we want to see. Until next time, Barberton Esports fans, uh, we've been happy to have you here, and we'll be even happier when we can bring you a Barberton victory, hopefully next week. Until then, thanks for watching.